अख्यम दश प्राण अधर्म धर्म चक्री अभिमान रथीन च जीव धनुर्हित प्रणव पठंती सरम तो जीव परमी बलक्षम ट्रांसलेसन बैसेल प्रभुपात द टेन काइंड ऑफ एयर एक्टिंग विद इन द बॉडी आर कंपेयर टू द स्पोक्स ऑफ द चैरियर्स व्हील्स एंड द टॉप एंड बॉटम ऑफ द व्हील इटसेल्फ आर कॉल्ड रिलीजन एंड इ रिलीजन द लिविंग एंटिटी इन द बॉडीली कंसेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ the owner of the chariot the vedic mantra pranava is the bow the pure living entity himself is the arrow and the target the supreme being e shloka ro odia anubhat bhauchi nadmani kahunchi saramadhyare je 10 vayu pravahit hochi taha chakra jorathor चक्र और सहित तुणनीय एवं से रथर उपरी भाग और तल भाग ये धर्म और अधर्म जो जीव देहधारण से ए रथर मालिक वेद मंत्र प्रणव हूँ धनु शुद्ध जीव जीवात्मा से हे स्वर एवं लक्ष्यस्थल होती परमेश्वर भगवान एला श्लोक अर्थ परपट पाइल प्रभुपात टेन काइंडस अफ लाइफ एयर अलवेज फ्लो दिन दि मिडल बॉडी दे आर कॉल्ड प्राण अपहान समान व्यान उदान नाग कर्म कृकण देवदत्त एंड धनंजय They are compared here to the spokes of the chariot's wheels. The life air is the energy for all of a living being's activities, which are sometimes religious and sometimes irreligious. Thus, religion and irreligion are said to be the upper and lower portions of the chariot's wheels. when the living entity decides to go back home back to godhead his target is lord vishnu the supreme personality of godhead in the conditioned state of life one doesn't understand that the goal of life is the supreme lord nate vidu swartha gati vishnu durasaya je bahir arthamani na the living entity tries to be happy within this material world not understanding the target of his life when he is purified however he gives up his bodily conception of life and his false identity 
as belonging to a certain community, a certain nation, a certain society, a certain family, and so on. Sarvapadhi binirmuktam tatparitam nirmalam. Then he takes the arrow of his purified life and with the help of the bow, the transcendental chanting of pranava, a Hare Krishna mantra, he throws himself towards the supreme personality of Godhead. Srila Vishwanathakura Thakur has commented that because the words bow and arrow are used in this verse, one might argue that the supreme personality of Godhead and the living entity have become enemies. However, although the supreme personal Godhead may become the so-called enemy of the living being, this is his chivalrous pleasure. For example, the Lord fought with Bhishma, and when Bhishma pierced the Lord's body on the battlefield of Kurukhetra, this was a kind of humor or relationship of which there are twelve. When the conditioned soul tries to reach the Lord by hurling an arrow at him, the Lord takes pleasure, and the living entity gains the profit of going back home, back to Godhead. Another example given in this regard is that Arjuna, as a result of piercing the Adharam Inom, or the feast within Chakra, achieved the valuable gain of Draupadi. Similarly, if with the air of chanting the holy name of the Lord, one pierces Lord Vishnu's lotus feet, by dint of performing this heroic activity of devotional service, one receives the benefit of returning home back to Godhead. Material father, but does it? Huh? I'm a car of poor Horako today. No horror. I'm more horror as a quarter of Gilaro say. Kusuponga gang, Kusupuru gare? The Guruguilan. I'm a go horror, I'm a go papa. No, I'm a couple of apathy. When I'm a go, great after identification. It does not for chugre. आज ये परचा दो जे सोरो इटा एको जे सोरी रो परचा बॉडीली आईडेंटिफिकेशन इटा सोरी रो परचा बापा ये जोड सोरी उपाधि जुकत सोरी को था को हाल चीट सर्व पाधि भी निर्मुक्तम तत्परत्तन निर्मलम फुसिके न फुसिके इस ओसे ये बनम भक्ति रुच्चते ये महाजनों को हुचन दी को था ये सारी को पादर मुक्त हो तुम ये तुम्हारा पर्चा ना होए, आज ये पर्चा तो अच्छा काली सरटी नष्ट है गला, सोटे प्रजापति कहीं की नहीं, अपना मरी गला, अच्छा, मरी गला नहीं, किरे मरी गला नहीं, आओ ना, इसे पर्चा था ना ही ना, ताले किए किरे तो, पर्चा टा किया था तो और पर्चा का भी बुला ना मुंह किए रे, मर्स मुंह किए प्रोग्रेसरे, इच्छा was the target. Said the by Sadhu Sanga Huchi, so I get up a pa. Sadhu Sanga is about Alotana Tata Alotana Huchi. A brahmi on orthodori Huta Huchi. An orthopos among Sakya Bhakti Jogunga Dokhi Bhakti Jog, Lokyo Tata Daniba, Lokyo Paramang Padam. Vishnu Tatu, Vishnu Paramam Padam, Lakshya Param Pada Vishnu Mara, Mutanga Nitya Das. Huh? Ejo Tatu Katharadanu Chiyatwali, Chitkana Jeeva Krishna, Chenama Yobhas Karo, Chitkana Jeeva Oh, 
ভজিতে ভজিতে কৃষ্ণ পাদ পদ্ম পাই মায়াকে পিছনে রাখি কৃষ্ণ পানে চায় ভজিতে ভজিতে কৃষ্ণ পাদ পদ্ম ভজন করা কথা কুয়া এটি কুয়া হচ্ছে বাই চ্যাটিং ওঙ্কার চ্যাটিং হরে কৃষ্ণ মন্ত্র সেই কথা এটি নারদ মুনি The Vedic mantra pranava is the bow, the pure living under himself is arrow. Tharja it is the supreme being. Bhasyari Amar Pranavaradhya Gurudev goes, then he takes the arrow with purified life and the help of the bow, transcendental chanting of pranava, Hare Krishna mantra, he throws himself towards the supreme personality of Godhead. That's the fierce, the Tharja it. He looks so bad. এ ধনু সর ধরি লক্ষ্য ভেদ কলা সেটা কথাটা কোয়া হচ্ছে তাহলে সুপ্রিম গেন সুপ্রিম গেন চিফ দি সুপ্রিম গেন তা হচ্ছে পরম লাভ তার হেলা কা তদ বিষ্ণু পরম পদ তা যে লক্ষ্য পরম পদ ভগবান বিষ্ণু কৃষ্ণ প্রাপ্তি হেলা ইতা কথাটা সেই কথা এ সাধু সঙ্গরু এ তত্ত্ব আলোচনার এ কথা জাঁ লাভটা হচ্ছে এটা এ সাধু সঙ্গর লাভ এটা হচ্ছে নিজ তত্ত্ব জানি আর সংসার না চায় কেন বা ভজি নো মায়া করে আয় মুন্ড পিঠে কান্দিব সেতবে আহা কেড়ে ভুল করছি মু এ মাইক জগতরে পড়ি যাইছি মু নিজ নিজে চিহ্নি নি মু কৃষ্ণ দাস কেন্দে বলে হে কৃষ্ণ আমি তব দাস সেটি মুন্ড পিটি করি সেতবে কান্দি কবে হে কৃষ্ণ মুঁ তব দাস মুটা ভুলি এ লক্ষ্য ভ্রষ্ট হয়ে যাই এ বিস্মৃতি মোর হয়ে যাই এ মাইক সংসার মায়া প্রতি আকর্ষণ যুগ মু সর্বনাশ তোমার চরণ ছাড়ি হইল সর্বনাশ সর্বনাশ হয়ে যাইছে মো এপরি কান্দি গিরি কাকু দি করি গিরি কৃষ্ণ কু যেতবে ঢাকিব সাধু কিন্তু মহাজন কিন্ত ছেটিং প্রণব ওঙ্কার চেটিং হরে কৃষ্ণ মন্ত্র হরে কৃষ্ণ হরে কৃষ্ণ 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 হরে 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 রাম হরে রাম 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 হরে হে হরে হে কৃষ্ণ হে রাম কান্দি বলি কেন্দে বলে হে কৃষ্ণ কান্দি করে কহব তাহলে কৃষ্ণ কণ করবে না কৃপা করে কৃষ্ণ তার ছাড়ানো সংসার মাইক সংসার ছড়াই দেবে হটাই দেবে সেতবে ই কৃপা লাভ হব যেতবে হ্যাঁ কৃষ্ণ কৃপা মায়াকে পিছনে রখি কৃষ্ণ পানে চায় ভজিতে ভজিতে কৃষ্ণ পার তার মায়া কু হটাই দেব পুসিং ব্যাক গেট আউট মায়া পুসিং ব্যাক সাই ব্যাক মায়া পুসিং মায়া ব্যাক মেকিং ফরওয়ার্ড মার্চ টুয়ার্ডস কৃষ্ণ কৃষ্ণ আড়ক গতি কলা কৃষ্ণ পানে ছায় হ্যাঁ ভজিতে ভজিতে কৃষ্ণ পাদ ভাই ভজন করি হরে কৃষ্ণ মন্ত্র প্রণম ভজ বা হরে কৃষ্ণ মন্ত্র ভজন করি কৃষ্ণ পাদ পদ্ম ভাইরা দিস ইজ দি পিয়ার সিং দি টার্চেট সিভিং দি টার্চেট হিয়ার নাদ মুনি as mahajan sadhu mahajan says um, very important tattva you see in previous verse he has said how this body is a chariot and jiva is living entity is um, sitting on this chariot atmanang um, rathinang vidhi sharirang rathung eva jaha Upanishad also the same thing is said. Mm. Buddhi into sarthi buddhi. Buddhi, the intelligence is chariot here, driving chariot. Manaha pragrahni eva chaha. Mind is the uh, indriyani hayana ahayu. The ten indriyas are ten horses. Ten horses of this chariot. Drawing the horse, chariot. মন প্রগ্রহ 
Mind is the rain. Rain. Do hmm? you understand rain? Huh? The rope. Hmm? The horses are bound, controlled by the hmm, sarathi, chariot here, you see. He said, buddhim tu sarathim vidhi manah pragrangi evata. Intelligence is chariot here. Uh, driving chariot and manaha with the reins and horses are ten indriyas, senses. Uh, and if the charioteer is expert charioteer, do you understand? It's driving in buddhi, buddhi to sarathim vidhi, intelligence is the charioteer, it's driving. You understand? If he is expert person, if that chariot is an expert person who knows the real destination, to which the chariot should be driven and reached, be reached, you understand, reach it, ultimately, that, what is that? Aim, what is the destination? Natada Vishnu Paramam Padam. That is destination. Vishnu Paramang Padam, the supreme abode of Lord Vishnu, or lotus feet of Lord, Vishnu is the destination. If that buddhi, intelligence, who acts as sarathi, charioter, is pure, the intelligence is pure, shuddha buddhi. You understand? There are two types of intelligence. Pure intelligence, impure intelligence. You understand? Pure intelligence and impure intelligence. The intelligence of a conditioned soul, impure. You understand? It's impure. The conditioned soul has forgotten its target. You understand? If such, Impure intelligence has become the charioteer of this chariot. So, that chariot will drive your chariot to where? What is the destination? He has forgotten the destination. Not to... Tad Vishnu Paramang Pada. It cannot drive your chariot to the Supreme Abode of Vishnu. Do you understand? Where will it drive? It will drive to... They, this, Visayanti Sugochara. It will drive to that destination which is not a real destination, that is Bishop of material enjoyment. You understand? Visayanti Sugochara. This chariot here, if it is in, impure chariot here, Impure intelligence, charioteer is not the proper charioteer, qualified charioteer, a fit charioteer, or the pure, then it will drive your chariot towards sense enjoyment. Do you understand? Sense enjoyment. He cannot control this uh, horses, you see. Horses, this is Indrians. Indriyas are horses. That impure chariot here, impure intelligence, cannot control these horses. You understand? So these horses will drag this chariot towards what? Towards a ditch. You understand? The chariot will fall down into a ditch, a dark ditch, very dark, deep ditch. Andhatamang, you see, Andhatamang. That's not the destination, that's not the target. You understand? Mr. Target. In other words, that chariot here will drag your chariot towards the blind, dark well. That is hell, hellish situation. It's falling into the ditch. Do you understand? Hmm? That is, that has also said, 
নতে বিদু সার্থকতি হি বিষ্ণু দুরাশয় দেব হিরর্থমান অন্ধাত থে নিরূপম নিয়মান হৃদাব নিমুদ্ধ শ্রীমদ ভারতম শ্রীমদ ক্যান্ট শেষ দিস থিং স্টেটমেন্ট গিভেন বাই প্রহ্লাদ মহারাজ ডু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হ্যাঁ দেশ দশ পার্সনস দশ লিভিং এন্টিটিস হিয়ার হিউম্যান বিংস বিকজ দ্য টিচিং ইজ গিভেন টু হিউম্যান বিংস দ্য হিউম্যান ফর্ম অফ লাইফ ইজ রেয়ারলি অপটেন দুর্লভং বেস্ট অফ অল ফর্মস অফ লাইফ ইউ সি those who don't know those who are in the bodily conception of life they don't know swarthagati hi vishnu they have missed their target they don't know the target is param padam vishnu the supreme abode of vishnu lotus feet of vishnu krishna they don't know it durasaya deva hirarthamani no andhaj te nirupaniya manas te api satantrya urudav nibaddha you see they don't know it they are like blind men you see they are like blind men you see they have no real vision they are blind they cannot see the real target the supreme abode of vishnu they cannot drive that impure intelligence that charioteer cannot drive your chariot to that supreme destination you understand they see only what they see only this sense objects you understand you have seen that um, the cart driven by the horses hmm do you understand have you seen it ha huh? the driver what has he done you see he has put to this covering uh, the two eyes of uh, the horse Do you understand? He has put these things. Have you seen it? Because that horse cannot look this side, this side. Do you understand? Only see straight destination. Chalo! Do you understand? He has put all these two things. So if the chariot is an expert person, he can do like this. The chariot is not expert. Or the chariot. that pure intelligence he has not put all these things so he cannot control the horses do you understand the horses will look driving this way driving that way driving this way falling in the ditch do you understand they can they will miss the target because the charioteer is not a fit person or the person is in pure intelligence do you understand লিডার হুইজ অলসো ব্লাইন্ড ম্যান Do you understand? These material leaders, the material leaders, so-called leaders, these political leaders, do you understand? They don't know what is the target. They are blind leaders, isn't it? They are making plans and projects how can one get more and more sense enjoyment, isn't it? they cannot make the plans and project to reach the target that vishnu paramam padam they don't they are not making because they are blind they have missed the target they don't know about that target so such leaders blind leaders are leading a group of blind men so what will happen both the leader and the followers all will fall down in the dark ditch isn't it let us say andhar thendhe rupamiya mana asti api satantrya urdham nibadha so the charioteer should be a worthy person worthy charioteer with the pure intelligence 
from where that your intelligence comes? Huh? From Krishna. Do you understand? Tesam satta juktanam basatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi jogam tam jena man upajanti the. Tenth chapter Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavad Gita says this thing. Do you understand? Tesam satta juktanam basatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi jogam tam jena man upajanti the. I gave them intelligence, Krishna says. That's pure intelligence. Pure intelligence comes from Krishna. To whom Krishna gives this intelligence? Te saṁ satta juktānaṁ bhazatāṁ priti purvakaṁ. Those who are always attached to me and with pleasure chanting my holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rāma, Hare Rāma. Then stand. To them I give this pure intelligence. Do you understand? Tesam satta jukta nam bhatatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi jogam. As a result of that buddhi, pure intelligence, mang upajanti. They will approach me. They will come to me. That means, in other words, if this sarathi, this charioteer is pure, Pure intelligence. Then it will drive the chariot to the real target. Tada Vishnu Paramam Padam. Mangu Padanti. Krishna says, you come to me, approach me. Do you understand? Now you understand, it's clear. This real Sarathi, what the chariot here, proper chariot here. This pure intelligence. You understand? That will drive your chariot to that supreme abode, supreme abode of Krishna, the lotus feet of Vishnu or Krishna. That is just said here. It is said here hmm, that um, hmm, Narada Muni has said the Vedic mantra pranava is the bow. The pure living him entered himself with the arrow and the target is the supreme being. And in purport, my revered spiritual master says, then he takes arrow of his purified life. That it is said. Hmm? Uh, when he is purified, however, he gives up his bodily conception of life and his false identity as belonging to a certain community certain nation, certain society, certain family, and so on, sarvapādi nirmuktam tatparitthana nirmalam. Then he takes the arrow of his purified life, and with the help of the bow, the transcendental chanting of pranavar, Hare Krishna mantra, he throws himself towards the supreme personality of Godhead. You understand? He pierces now the real target with this bow and arrow. Chanting Hare Krishna mantra. This is bow. You understand? Pranava. The transcendental chanting of pranava or Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna mantra is also pranava. Pranava sarva vedesu. Krishna says, I am the pranava unkar in all Vedic hymns. You understand? And Hare Krishna mantra. Eh? Pranava. I am. He says, Krishna says, I am. In Hare Krishna mantra, Krishna, so it's pranava also. Do you understand? We chant Hare Krishna mantra, that's where chanting pranava. That is, bow. Arrow is a living entity himself. Do you understand? Pure living entity. By chanting this Hare Krishna mantra, the consciousness is purified. Intelligence is purified now. So is a purified chariot here. So that chariot will drag your chariot to the real target, that is, lotus feet of Krishna or Vishnu. He throws himself towards the supreme personality of Godhead. Do you understand? This gives pleasure to Vishnu or Krishna. As Srila Vishnu Chakravarti has commented, Prabhupada has given, 
is not inimical is not inimical hmm it is a as you said chivalrous pleasure ah the so called enemy of living being although the supreme personality god had may become the so called enemy of living being this is a chivalrous pleasure for example the lord fought with the bhishma and when bhishma pierced the body lord's body and battle field of kurukshetra this was a kind of humor relationship which are 12 you understand 12 types of humors and that is chivalrous virrosso you understand and krishna gets pleasure that way late this living entity pierces the star jet the krishna gets pleasure who mm. so krishna gets pleasure in the battlefield of kurukshetra when bhishma appears the body of krishna similarly when arjuna appears the adhara meena the fish within chakra achieved the valuable gain of draupadi that is supreme gain that is taught here mm. but the conditioned soul were attached to this material world was forgotten his real identity do you understand was forgotten his real identity he doesn't know who he is what is his real identity he doesn't know in other words he has developed bodily conception of life he knows that i am this body isn't it the conditioned soul knows i am this body it, he doesn't know who is the real identity isn't it you are a conditioned soul if i ask who are you i am mr peter mr peter acha anything more about your yes i belong to west germany my father is mr thomas i am his son i am mr peter i belong to german ha huh? i am a westerner i am a white person like this is bodily designations that's not his real identity isn't it how long can you identify yourself in this way any moment this body will finish you see then we, if it is asked where is mr peter oh he is dead he is gone oh mr peter is dead and go <laughs> so where is your identity baba <laughs> don't stand mr peter you don't know who are you really ha huh? isn't it the condition so he don't know his real identity really who he is he so how can he know one who has developed this bodily conception of life he has forgotten his real identity do you understand what to speak about anything else so how can you know what is the target what is the destination where this chariot will go if the chariot here is impure in pure intelligence do you understand so for him what is real but physical he is revolving in the cycle of birth and death whirling round this cycle birth and death repeatedly suffering 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 here in this material existence isn't it if we ask how real benefit will he achieve how ha huh? what will be the answer khanardhapi satsanga sevadhirna this dance khanardhapi satsanga sevadhirna if he is real fortunate if he has if you that will get For a moment only satsang, do you understand? Association of sadhu, mahatma, mahapurush, mahabhakti, do you understand? Then he is really fortunate. 
You understand? Because in the association of sadhu, ah, uh, what is going on there? The sadhu speak on this tattva, as Narada Muni says here. Narada Muni is a sadhu, Mahajan. So similarly, those are sadhus like Narada Muni. They speak on this thing. Who you really is, are? Do you understand? What's your real identity, Baba? And what is the target of your life? Do you understand? And what is the success of your life? In other words, you may say, what target you have to pierce? That's what you say. This is the gain by sadhu sangha, sad sangha. Do you understand? Ei rupe samsara bhamite kon jono sadhu sangha nijo tatto bhagat hona. Until he he has not known this tatto, who is he really? He is revolving in this cycle of birth and death in. Lots of species of life, isn't it? If he has achieved any a gyanta sukruti, do you understand? Unconsciously, if he has achieved some sukruti, bhakti na mukhi sukruti, so he can come to this association of sadhus. Do you understand? So when he will associate with sadhus and listen to sadhu, then he can understand who am I. Isn't it? Sadhu songe nijo tato abogo to no. Then he can understand. Oh, I am eternally Krishna Das. I am eternally the servant of Krishna. This is my real identity. No, he knows. Nijo tato jani ar sansar na chai. Kya nu ba bhoji nu maya kore hai hai. When he knows, by listening to sadhu. That I am eternally the servant of Krishna. Krishna is my eternal master. I am his eternal servant. Then he can understand what a wrong he has done. But the great forgetfulness. Do you understand? Then he will never be attracted towards this samsara now, this material world now. Towards Maya now, because I am eternal servant of Krishna, my target is the lotus feet of Krishna. I have to pierce that target, reach that target. The chariot should reach that target. Kena ba bhoji nu Maya kore hai hai. Then he'll cry and say, "Alas, I am doomed. Why I have been attracted towards Maya? Do you understand?" My target is the lotus feet of Krishna. I should have been attracted towards Krishna, but I have been attracted towards Maya. It's a great mistake, a blunder I have committed. But the association sadhu he can understand this.